just reading behind you the, the title of one of your books, Addressing yes. Systemic Discrimination by Reframing the Problem. Yes. This is a very fascinating title to me. So can you tell me, and I know you've been talking about this with me right now, yes. but reframing the problem, that that kind of sticks out to me. So can you tell me more about that? Okay. What you mean by it? Yes. Uh, the example I gave at the beginning of my experience at Xerox right. uh, is an example of reframing. Namely, the problem. Instead of, yes, the problem. And instead okay. of focusing on, uh, which is what I was focusing on, is that I was not getting a good job because I was black. Right. That's yeah. The, okay. That's the, the but, problem I was focusing on. And that was the problem, though, right? It, it was a problem. Yeah. It was a problem. Okay. But it was not the better problem to solve, to get to the outcome I want. The outcome right. I wanted was to get on a good project. Yeah. And this yeah. is where you're, you're tying this all together for me now. So this yes. is great. And had I gotten on a good project, guess what would have happened? I would have felt better about, you know, I would not have felt I was being discriminated against, or I might still recognize I was being discriminated against, but I'm on a good project. So at least that part has been taken care of. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So being clear about the outcome was important and finding a better problem to solve to get me to that outcome. That's the reframing part. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll give you another. In fact, what the book um, does, the book outlines the equity inclusion, what we've been discussing. The book outlines the reframing process. Mm -hmm. uh, so first uh, uh, part, uh, two chapters, one each to the 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 two topics uh one equity inclusion why that's important why we move to eiie mm -hmm. and the second the reframing process and how you come up with a better problem to solve and use that to reframe your your, your problem so that you can have a productive uh, dialogue uh, with your with your manager and the solution the rest of the book are interviews which we did with individuals cutting across so there were three physicians actually and one nurse there are individuals working in government offices, individuals in large corporations, et cetera, small corporations. So there were 18 of these interviews, uh, and we took them through the, the process. They filled out the uh, the intake form, as we call, call mm -hmm. it, very briefly. Once we did the interview with them, we sent the form back to them for them to verify that, indeed, you know, what we they recorded, represented what they said, they made changes, etc. Uh, and then our VIPs uh, then went through the case, looking at microaggressions, looking at the equity issues, processes, privilege, uh, prospects, etc. Did the matrix, and then went through the process of trying to find a better problem to, to solve and, and, and then to reframe. I gave you uh, one example, actually, which we use as our teaching case, because mm -hmm. that's the one case which is not an individual. It's actually two different uh, individuals and we brought them together because it allowed us to 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 demonstrate more things. Right. Uh, yeah. Doing that. Uh, but this was a, a, a situation, one of these individuals, and this, as I said, we combined two things. But let's pretend it was one individual uh, who was of Moroccan descent, worked for the small company for about 20 years. During that time, he actually uh, got his master's, got two master's, one of which was in project management, was treated badly, you know, stereotypical name calling, etc. He complained about it, nothing doing. But he applied for a job and was passed over. An external person was brought in. And then he was asked to help this individual with project management. And we actually found about three or four such cases in different areas. Wow. With that. And his outcome, you know, he had things like he wanted this company to have no tolerance for discrimination, you know, on and on. And so we discussed that. And one of the things we simply said, what's a point of influence, one of the things we look at? One. On the equity axis, clearly the CEO and the senior managers, you know, JA, we call them, JA had complained, you know, gotten no help from them. 
Mm-hmm. So not much is going to happen on the equity axis. HR has not been helpful. Nothing will happen like with the axis. Now, how about on the inclusion axis? Mm-hmm. What is a point of influence? And what we identified is the following. He had suffered a severe micro invalidation in that he was passed over and then was asked to use the expertise he had to help this external who was brought in. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things he wanted was to be recognized for his expertise. Well, he was being recognized for his expertise. Wasn't the way he wanted to be. Right. He was actually being recognized for his expertise. So that Mm -hmm. was his point of influence. Right. So okay. then we began to think about, well, how could he actually exploit that? Mm-hmm. Well, what if he went to the manager and instead of complaining that he's been passed over, the manager knows he's been passed over. What if he went to the manager and said, you know, since you've asked me to help, you know, let's call him X, mm-hmm. I would like to run some sessions after work for anyone who would like to learn some fundamentals of project management. Because Mm -hmm. what we do, you know, everybody needs to know that. Now, it would be very difficult for the manager to say, no, you can't do that when he's asked him to help this person. Right. Okay. So he gets opportunity to do that. He is now building his profile. He is now being recognized for his expertise. Mm -hmm. And now this begins to give him a basis to deal with some other things. And in fact, he can then talk with his manager about issues of productivity, how that could improve, and then talk about wouldn't it be nice if people treated each other with respect? Yeah. Wow. Then we can move into that. Love that. That's a great example. Thank you for sharing that so much. And I I think we can all learn from that lesson just in our own um, in our own professional lives and personal lives too, really, uh, would you think about it, regardless of where we're at in our careers, whether we're in healthcare or not. But that's, yeah, that's amazing. The work you're doing is amazing. We only have a couple minutes left, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. So I hate to cut the conversation short, but I want people to be able to find you, Frank, and reach out to you in Safe Haven um, if they want to d- dive further into this for themselves. Well, they can find me on safehavendialogues-llc.com, safehavendialogues-llc.com. And is your book also a part of that, the, the website? Book, yes. Okay. Can be found there. I must okay. warn them, actually, interestingly enough, uh, we will be putting out a second edition of the book shortly after we have, because we've gotten a lot of feedback. Good. And the feedback has been, too, that the, the, the title... You sort of have to get into it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, people have come up with shorter titles in which they've said, you know, use this shorter title, and then a subtitle that explains reframing to address systemic discrimination. So we're doing that as well as we're adding to the back cover some endorsements that we've got, etc. Uh, we just actually submitted it to the uh, uh, the publishers uh, today. So I hope that hopefully. By September, you know, uh, that would be out. But the present book is available uh, on uh, Amazon and uh, Barnes & Noble. It's awesome. And the content is totally unchanged. So uh, whether you buy this or the the new version, unfortunately, because it has a new title, uh, it is treated as a new book. And there will be a statement in there that it's, you know, it's just a new (laughs) version. Just a new title. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds good. Well, thank you so, so much for being here.